Whitman. Right, school pupils were left in tears after teachers at one comprehensive accidentally revealed their academic rankings to them and all their classmates. The blunder came as staff were giving a presentation on study groups, but instead flashed up a list of their students' performance predictions, ranging from the positive banker and probable to the quite disheartening unlikely. The school in question has since apologised, but how much has our confidence been affected um, by what adults said to us when we were children? Um, well, certainly at school it affected me a lot. Um, my maths teacher basically told me I was completely useless and she couldn't even be bothered with me. Um, therefore, I hated maths. I could never do maths. I and she I was still married to my maths teacher because he said the yeah. same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well... But the thing is, it, it's amazing because it really did... I gave up on maths, mm. and I was frightened to put my hand up because I knew she'd embarrass me, so I never asked questions. If I didn't understand it, I, I just literally used to hand my work in knowing I'd get it all wrong because I didn't understand it, but she didn't give me the confidence to ask. She knocked all the confidence out of me. But on the other hand, my PE teacher, who was fabulous, and I loved PE, and she thought I was really good at PE, so I lived for PE because yeah. she believed in me. Because in actual fact... I actually don't think I'm good at anything. Oh, don't be, don't be crazy! <laughs> <laughs> We've won awards and everything. I think that yeah. they're just saying, "Oh, because they're going." She's right. <laughs> <laughs> they're all sitting there racking their brains now, trying to think of something oh, I'm good at. No, but I, I don't. I don't know what it is. I think I don't know whether it's being the youngest of a really big family, so you don't feel you ever stood out yeah. doing anything, and mm. because we all sang. So yeah. it wasn't like I was the only singer, you know, we all sang. Yeah. And um, so I've never kind of believed in myself, but I'm always encouraged by people who believe in me. Some, if somebody says yeah. to me, you, you can do that, I totally believe in you. Yeah. I go into it thinking, mm -hmm. oh, I don't think I can. I'm well, probably really going to let them you down. You know, when you started that, obviously you were a wee well, bit wobbly. completely proved my point. No, <laughs> you, you, you got really good at that. Actually, though, I have to say, I think I'm probably the opposite from you, though, Pauline, mainly because I was old hopeless at PE. I could do PE to save my life. But I think what you say about birth order is very important, because I was the eldest. I think if you're the first child, just somehow you, you are given a lot more confidence, perhaps, mm. by your parents. Or are you just born with it? I, I have to admit, I think I was born, luckily, with, with quite a bit of confidence. And, and I just always knew I was going to... I just wanted to sing, and nothing would have stopped me, whatever anybody else thought about my singing. So if somebody oh, said, you're awful, go away. If you know, somebody said, I was you think you can sing Leslie Garrett? You're rubbish. Well, well, the teacher used to send me to the back of the class. She said, will you go to the back? We can't hear anybody else when we're doing singing together, you know. And she was quite... <laughs> Thank Where you, I do. Here, right? you know, shush. <laughs> And she was a, you know, a little bit down on me for that. But, but when I decided I wanted to really try and do singing for a career, um, most people were generally supportive. Uh, my my mum was great, actually. She was very supportive. In fact, my mum always used to say, look, love, as long as you do your best, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's good enough for anybody. And I think that's great confidence. Yeah, it gives you great absolutely. confidence. But my dad was, he was supportive, but he was also a little bit realistic, yeah. you know. And, and he was the only one who was saying, are you sure you can actually make a career out of this, love? Um, and I'm grateful to him for doing that, because I thought immediately, I'll show you. Yes, of course I'm going to make a career out of this. Uh, and he gave me that little bit of steel. And would you so have I reacted in helped. the same way if your dad had been like that, Sherry? Uh, well, I, I don't know, really. I mean, I, I was confident as a little girl. I was very confident because I was on the stage at the age of four and, I, you know, I really put the welly in. I was a right little trooper. And then as life comes at you, you lose your confidence, don't mm. you? But, you know, what... Um, I mean, I've always instilled it in Keeley. And I, I'm, not, I'm just wondering, listen to you, whether it's a generational thing with schools, whether, you know, you were thought that, that, to say to you you won't be very good at maths, would make you go, go forward. And it doesn't. It actually brings you back, and it did to me. Mm. But I've always instilled in Keeley confidence. I hope. That's mm. But you know, the other thing is, it's always learn that it's okay to fail. Mm. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't have to be the top of everything. You, you can fail, and nobody's going to judge you. But I, d I think that comes, grows with confidence. Yeah. And, and your age, maybe. But, mm. you know, I understand you because mm. I, I think you do at school, and somebody says you can't do anything... You automatically think you can't. Yeah. And yet Leslie was the opposite of that. And, so, and, and also still is. I mean, <laughs> yes, and still, <laughs> still got shut up. And also as well, so, you know, there are some great teachers out there. I know where, like where my little boy goes to school, he's kind of he's kind of average and his teachers just they're so full of enthusiasm yeah, that he wow. bounces so he doesn't even notice That's that he's just sort of in the in the middle, which is sort of how it should be. Okay, it's a